Welcome to this comprehensive guide on how to completely uninstall Internet Download Manager IDM, from your Windows PC. IDM, or Internet Download Manager, is a powerful tool used for speeding up downloads, resuming interrupted downloads, and managing files efficiently. However, there may come a time when you no longer need IDM on your system, or you're facing issues that require a complete removal of the program. In this video, I will walk you through two methods to uninstall IDM from your Windows PC, ensuring that no residual files, registry entries, or settings remain after the process. Whether you're using Windows 10, Windows 11, Windows 8, or even Windows 7, this guide has you covered. The first method to uninstall IDM involves using the control panel, which is the default utility in Windows for managing and uninstalling programs. To begin, Click on the Windows Start menu or press the Windows key on your keyboard, then type Control Panel into the search bar. Once it appears in the search results, select Control Panel and open it. Once you're in the Control Panel, you'll need to switch the View to Category for easier navigation. Look to the top right corner of the window where you will see a View by option. From the drop-down menu, choose Category. This helps in easily locating the next step. Under the Programs section, you will see a link that says Uninstall a program. Click on this link to access a list of all the programs installed on your computer. Now, scroll through the list of installed programs until you find Internet Download Manager IDM. Once you locate IDM, right-click on it and a menu will appear. From this menu, select the option Uninstall Change. At this point, a dialog box will appear, presenting you with two options for uninstalling IDM, default and full. The default option removes only the main program files, leaving behind registry entries and settings. The full option, on the other hand, removes everything associated with IDM, including unfinished downloads, settings, and the download list. It's highly recommended that you choose the full uninstall option to ensure that IDM is completely removed from your system. However, be mindful that choosing this option will permanently delete any unfinished downloads and clear your IDM download list. Once you select Full, click on Next to proceed with the uninstall process. Follow the prompts until you reach the Finish button, which you should click to complete the uninstall process. After this, you will be prompted to restart your computer to finalize the uninstallation. Make sure to save any work you've been doing before restarting. Once you're ready, Click OK to reboot your system, and IDM will be completely removed from your computer. If this method does not work or if you prefer a more straightforward approach, there is an alternative method using a dedicated IDM uninstaller tool. This method ensures that every trace of IDM, including leftover files and registry entries, is removed from your computer. To get started with this second method, open your web browser of choice, such as Chrome or Firefox, and paste the link to the IDM Uninstaller tool, which will be provided in the video description. Once on the web page, locate that uninstall.exe link and click on it to download the Uninstaller tool. After the download is complete, go to your Downloads folder or the location where the file was saved. Double-click on the uninstall.exe file to run the tool, and the Uninstaller window will open. Just like in the first method, you will be presented with two uninstall options, default and full. As before, the default option only removes the program files, while the full option ensures that all files, registry entries, and settings are wiped clean. To make sure IDM is completely removed, choose the full option and proceed by clicking Next. Once the uninstallation is complete, click on Finish to finalize the process. Again, you will be asked to restart your computer. Make sure to save any open work, then click OK to restart your computer. After rebooting, IDM and all its related components will be fully removed from your system. And that's it! You have successfully uninstalled Internet Download Manager from your Windows PC using two different methods. Whether you chose the traditional control panel method or used the dedicated uninstaller tool, IDM is now completely removed from your system, leaving no leftover files or registry entries. While these methods should work for most users, there may be instances where you encounter issues during the uninstallation process. Some common problems and their solutions are 
If IDM doesn't show up in the list of installed programs in the control panel, it may indicate a corrupted installation. This is a common problem that can occur if IDM was partially uninstalled previously or if its files have been damaged. In such cases, using the IDM Uninstaller tool is the best solution. The Uninstaller tool is designed to remove any traces of IDM, even if the program no longer appears in the control panel. If the uninstallation process fails to complete or freezes midway, it could be due to a conflict with another program or a system error. In this situation, try restarting your computer and attempting the uninstallation again. If that doesn't work, boot your computer into safe mode and try uninstalling IDM from there. Safe mode disables non-essential drivers and programs, allowing you to perform tasks that may be interrupted in normal mode. Even after performing a full uninstall, you may find that some residual files or registry entries are left behind. These files can take up space on your hard drive and potentially interfere with other programs. To remove these residual files, you can use a third-party program like CCleaner to perform a deep system clean. CCleaner scans your system for leftover files, invalid registry entries, and other junk that can accumulate over time. By running a cleanup, you'll ensure that your system is completely free of IDM-related data. Those are the three possible troubleshooting solution in case any of the errors occur. By taking the time to uninstall IDM properly, you'll free up system resources, prevent software conflicts, and ensure your PC remains clean and optimized for future software installations. If this tutorial helped you out, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more tech tips and troubleshooting guides. Also, make sure to hit the bell icon so you get notified when we upload new videos. If you have any questions or run into any issues, feel free to leave a comment down below, and we'll be happy to help.